Hello again and welcome back. This time I will show you my new 3D probe which I bought for my CNC and which I may even use on my lathe later on. It's a small 3D probe made by a Czech company. Uh, it's called Dig3D and sold on eBay and or I think also through his website. It has a 6mm axis which is uh, just perfect for my CNC uh, and also three. it came with three pieces of uh, probe tips uh, all having 3mm diameter tips and also two extra plates. The plates uh, holding the tip are 3D printed but the case of the 3D uh, probe is uh, uh, it seems like it's milled uh, uh, plastic uh, but that's okay because it's definitely better than anything I could do on my own. It has three grub screws uh, for uh, adjusting which I did after delivery also because it was actually off by quite a lot so basically it was useless for me but I will show you the results after tuning it. It came with uh, two extra uh, plates also one has two millimeter thread and the other one has three millimeter thread in it uh, so you can build your own probe if you want to. I think that's very good and it's also it makes it very useful. When you connect it to the power uh, there are two white LEDs and they should lit if not then you connected it wrong or something else is wrong with your 3D probe. On the side there, there is an acrylic plastic so you can always see the LEDs lit or not. As soon as you touch the probe tip, it will uh, shift color to uh, the blue, two blue LEDs, uh, which I think it's a, it's a it's a pleasant color and it's a good choice. I like blue LEDs. And the tip is quite sensitive, but I think uh, at least horizontally it should be a little bit easier to move. But that's, uh, I don't see it as a problem. But maybe it's just me uh, want a softer movement. But I think that can be quite hard to fix anyway. So I, I, I'm not complaining. I think this is a very good solution. And it seems to work quite well after I have used it for a while now. When I received this 3D probe it was off by uh, 0 0.15 millimeter so it was quite a lot. Uh, but after some fiddling with the three grub screws I tuned it to be off by not more than 0 0.03 millimeter which is good enough for me for now, but uh, uh, once I start using it serious, more seriously, I will probably tune it even better. Uh, and I will probably use it, use my late check, because uh, when it's horizontal, it's easier to access the grab screws uh, than as it is now in the CNC. One disadvantage of my 3D probe is that uh, wires are fixed to the probe, so it's a bit, uh, uh, well, difficult to turn it around for tuning and for measuring it. Uh, but this company is also selling uh, probes with uh, magnetic connectors. Uh, I think that's a better choice and if I ever have to use or buy a new one it will probably be the one with the magnetic connectors. Actually the only reason why I didn't buy the one with the magnetic connectors was that uh, I have no idea how well the connectors will hold and since it is very critical uh, I, I wanted to be 
more uh, on the safe side so that during probing the wires won't just uh, fall off. But uh, next time I am willing to try and test that out also. This is the item I bought and as you can see the seller has 100% uh, ratings on eBay which I think is very good and I received actually my uh, 3D probe after just a few days of waiting. And uh, he also has uh, several other models uh, both wired and with magnetic connector like these two. So just hit the buy now and get one if you want a good 3D probe. And this is how it looks like when the probe is in action. Seems very reliable and uh, well so far I'm quite happy with it. I'm also planning to make some uh, instruction videos for my UCCNC probe screens using this probe and I hope you will uh, watch them also and if, if you like this uh, probe I can really recommend buying it I think it's, uh, it's a very good choice it's about half the price of what other similar probes are going for. Um, I really, I really don't know if the other ones could be any better, and in which way. In that case. One major reason why I bought this uh, 3D probe was that it comes with a six millimeter shaft which is the largest I can use on my small CNC and I simply couldn't find any other alternatives. In fact, I also quickly designed a simple holder for this 3D probe so I can um, have it on my CNC readily available anytime I want to use it. This is how it looks like it's attached using one single T-nut so it fits perfectly on my CNC. That's it for now. Thank you for watching and I hope you like this video also. And all I can say as a final words that if I ever have to buy a new 3D probe again, this will probably be the next one also because it feels very good, very well built and and the price is really reasonable. Thank you once again and goodbye.